sorry I can't make it today, but I wanted to share my story with you. I had my first child when I was going to the university. That was a good number of years ago. Being a single mother then was a bit more difficult than today. Nonetheless, my child and I had many, many happy times together. Then something changed when she was about eight years old. We used to attend church, and at times she complained that she could not stand. I demanded she stand. And although she complained, she did it. This went on for about two years, and these complaints came more frequently and in different situations. She was a really good volleyball player, and one day she just walked off the court. Stupidly, I interpreted this as the last straw. She was now using this weakness argument to get away from competition. So I had her leave the team. I had her evaluated by a psychologist. She, the psychologist said she was okay, maybe had a bit of ADD. Shortly thereafter, we went on a trip to the South Pacific Islands where I wanted some time to talk with her through her problems. As we were there, she started to complain about having to go to the bathroom all the time and, and just an unending thirst. I decided to take her to a doctor who decided that we should do a urinalysis. So we went there. I thought, oh, he wants to check to see if she has a bladder infection. So we waited a couple of hours and returned to the doctor's office. He called both my daughter and me into the office and abruptly said, just as I thought, she has juvenile diabetes. Pack your bags and go home. My, my daughter started to cry uncontrollably. I could have strangled that doctor. We left not knowing any better. We found a space on a charter aircraft that was flying to the nearest international airport. It was a four hour flight. The clouds were gathering and we thought we'd be able to beat the storm. How lucky. It didn't turn out that way. About halfway there, it became so, sto so, so stormy, the pilot had to divert. Lost radio contact. Just as my daughter started to complain about a sharp abdominal pain, and shortly thereafter, she passed out. No one had a clue what to do. There were no attendants just two pilots and about a half a dozen other passengers. Well, to make a long story short, by the time we were able to make contact with my daughter was in a deep coma and had suffered cardiac arrest. We landed and the emergency personnel were unable to resuscitate her. Now I know, and I know you know, that the only life-saving technique for someone in my daughter's condition is to give her fast-acting insulin to reduce her blood sugar levels. That's why my newly diagnosed type 1 diabetics are hospitalized until their blood sugars can be stabilized. And just as importantly, that's why their families can get education on how to deal with these, this disease. I've gone through periods of grieving, taking and transferring blame, anger, pain, and all those emotions in these types of situations that one goes through. The doctors just disappeared. So my therapy today is to work with advocates to find a cure for diabetes and to raise awareness of the dangers of diabetes when first diagnosed. The one satisfaction I have is that I have been told by parents of newly diagnosed children 
they found strength from our experience. Type 1 diabetes can be and is a killer. As you know, a type 1 diabetic does not produce any insulin because their own body has killed their insulin producing cells. So as painful as I find it to share my experience, I do it for the kids who get the bad news. Hopefully, in a better way and with a better outcome than for my daughter and me. And Amy, Mommy loves you with all her heart. I'm sorry I couldn't have done better.